A passive insider is willing to pass information to others or perform minor actions to assist in an attack. An unwitting insider is an employee who is easily manipulated by others and, for various reasons, can be recruited to pass sensitive information to a third party. An unwitting insider has generally been coerced or socially engineered by a malicious party into unknowingly assisting in their plan. This is a psychological manipulation and can take many forms, including the following. Pretexting. Pretexting is when an individual creates a false motive, or pretext, to obtain sensitive information. For example, an outsider could pose as a mechanic with all the credentials and the uniform for the role. Through a lighthearted discussion of some false mechanical issue within a restricted office area and a friendly smile, the attacker could convince the unknowing employee to allow access to a secure area where they can steal documents or even plant technology or weapons to assist in an upcoming attack. The malicious party uses accepted social norms and interaction to trick the insider into assisting with the crime. Phishing. Generally involving emails, phishing scams pose as credible organizations and direct a user to a website where they're asked to insert sensitive information. Baiting. Baiting involves dangling something the insider may want in front of them in order to get them to take a specific action. An example of this method would be an attacker leaving a flash drive near a restricted facility with the organization's name on it. If an insider finds the drive, thinking it's harmless, and plugs it into the company's computer, the individual has now unknowingly assisted an outside attacker in infecting the organization's software or stealing sensitive information. Tailgating. Tailgating is as simple as it sounds. We've all held the door open for a neighbor in the apartment complex who's forgotten their key. However, in a secured environment, this behavior can be lethal to the organization's security. Tailgating could also include allowing someone to borrow a cell phone or a laptop onto which they could upload malicious software. Passive insiders as a whole can be motivated by many factors, ranging from blissful ignorance of their collaboration in an illegal activity, to coercion or manipulation into levels of active betrayal in order to protect themselves or their interests. A historic case of an attack by a passive, unwitting insider is the December 2004 Northern Bank headquarters robbery in Belfast, Ireland. Late in the evening, two Northern Bank executives, Chris Ward and Kevin McCullen, were approached at their respective homes by armed and masked gang members. Posing as police officers, they entered each home, taking Ward at gunpoint to McCullen's house while holding both families hostage. The two executives were instructed to go to work as usual or risk the death of their loved ones. That night, the armed men were led into the underground vaults where they unloaded over 20 million pounds and smaller quantities of various other currencies, including US dollars and euros. It's still unclear who committed the crime, but all hostages survived the incident. This is one of the largest robberies to ever occur in the UK, and it was done through the coercion of passive insiders.